Richard Kingston is quite simply the greatest goalkeeper ever to come out of Ghana. He made his international debut in 1996 and represented the Black Stars 90 times, making him the nation's most capped player. I am very, very proud of myself, of my family also, uh, because in some of my friends, they used to advise me, especially my lovely wife encouraging me, Richard, you can do, go on. You can, you can be better. You can be one of the best goalkeepers in the world. Over the course of a 15-year career, Kingston helped Ghana qualify for two FIFA World Cups and was a key member of the side that made it to the quarter-finals in 2010. We were uh, trying to get to semi-finals to break uh, the record of Cameroon. We were quarter-finals, so we were very, very determined to get to semi-finals, but unfortunately, that's football for you, so we nearly got there, but that was our expectation. History recounts that they fell short of their target, but the Black Stars did deliver on the promise they'd shown in 2006, when they'd been the only African side to qualify for the knockout stage. In South Africa, their opening game victory over Serbia was not only the perfect start, but it gave the player affectionately known as Ulele a cause for double celebration. I was so happy uh, on that day because it was my birthday, so uh, it's a birthday present for me and everybody was happy because that is what we were expecting and we got it, so it's like we are we are the top of the world. We have won the cup already. A 2-1 win over the USA in the second round put them into the last eight. Now they faced Uruguay. The match was played in front of a sellout crowd of 84,000 at Johannesburg Soccer City, and none of them will ever forget what they saw. As a goalkeeper like me, I was so happy with the, uh, the atmosphere was so nice. I don't know the word I will use to describe the atmosphere. It's like we are in the land of uh, our home, like Ghana, here, you know, South Africa. The way they, they blow the buzela and everything. When I when I when I when I heard the buzela, yes, we are in our land. Luis Suarez's infamous handball and Asamo Jean's missed spot kick prevented the West Africans from claiming a famous victory in extra time, so the match went to penalties. But such was the drama of the moment, perhaps Kingston's head was not in the ideal place. When we got the penalty, uh, I don't know, something spoke to me, said, no, hold your heart. So I have to turn my face and face the crowd for some seconds. Then I turned back to uh, watch the penalty. So when he missed the penalty, it's like I had a blackout. I couldn't know what is going on. I didn't see anybody on the field. So I was down and I was thinking about my life. And I said, what happens to me? I don't understand it. So during the penalty shootout, I was not, I was not myself and I was not concentrating. I was, I was somewhere else and I wanted to tell the coach to change me but it was too late. And ultimately Kingston couldn't prevent Ghana from being eliminated. While he hasn't represented his country since 2011, Richard Kingston still dreams of making a third FIFA World Cup appearance in Brazil next year. And if he does go, he's clear about what the team's goals will be. Now, uh, the expectation now is because first one, uh, Germany 2006, we got to the second round and we were eliminated. And now we got to uh, quarter finals. So the next one, we are hoping we can get to semi finals. So everybody is hoping that if, by the grace of God, we qualify, then we have to get to the semi-finals. 